what's gonna be trickling down from the brand new Harley Davidson Rogue Glide and Street Glide CVO down to the regular model. screen mm -hmm. we got the adjustable bars we got Brembo brakes in the front big brakes we got the lighting in the, the front the material charge yes yeah, surcharge they still doing it I thought that was a little silly to the video guys today we're gonna to be talking about what's gonna be trickling down from the brand new Harley Davidson Rogue Glide and Street Glide CBO down to the regular models what could be the standard what could be the the special or the ST or the ultra or the ultra producer Jerry right here in the building today all right guys so you guys know that I did spend some time on the CVO when I was out in Milwaukee. A bike is amazing. I'm a huge fan of it. And it's everything that the customer has been asking Harley Davidson for the past five or 10 years, mm -hmm. plus more. So Harley Davidson knocked it out of the park. They did a great job with that bike. It's, it's beautiful design, performs well. It, just, it does everything the way it's supposed to. Now you guys know that once the CVO models come out, that's gonna be the next standard that's going to be the new design right uh or anything that new tech that are that cvos have always trickles down so now we have the brand new redesigned street glider and road glide what we don't know if it's going to happen for 2024 or for 2025 who knows and how much of it's going to trickle down hoping it's going to be for 2024 mm -hmm. right um how much of that bike is going to trickle down into what could be a special st or standard if, if, if or, an it, or an ultra if they're going to have all those models um, and what's not going to make it onto there. Uh, it's very important. Uh, most of the time when they come out with these models at first, it's the most expensive model and like BMW does with the 7 Series, Mercedes does with the S-Class. They get all the top tech, all the brand new designs and it just trickles down to uh, the, the, the smaller models. Um, I want to get your take first. What you think about the bike, the design, and what do you think will trickle down to the the new the new standard well i mean I, I love the design um i'm not a big fan of the paint jobs either one of them for this year and i, I, I think they could have gone a different direction yes, when it comes to yes paint. actually this the gray bikes silver bike's not bad i think the pinch driving ruined it i like it i mean, I mean if there were, i think if they would have just left it monochromatic it it, it's been, it's nice it's very simple it's just it's not, not my, cbo standard to me it's when it comes not to what paint. i'm gonna dump 40 something thousand dollars yeah, yeah, yeah. because of the paint jobs in the past the green flame yeah even the, the blue the blue steel yeah. you know the mako shark fade like yeah. stuff like that you think about you think about paint jobs not what they came out this year yeah and the orange is like eh. yeah six grand more for an orange yeah it's, it's i mean it's cool of, but uh, nah, 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 nah six grand cool nah. i i prefer the, the silver over it though yeah i do yeah me too yeah. um the only thing i don't like is see how your fairing the chin fairing is nice and tight yeah on the the new bike, there's a space. Some of them have a little space that they're, they're yeah, all. Yeah, everyone I've seen has a space. I, I, you know what it is? That it, that just needs to be fixed from the inside screw where you adjust it. Yeah, I mean, the LD has it, everybody has it. I've yeah. seen so far. I mean, hopefully it's something as easy as a fix. I, I think, think it's, to me, it's like an afterthought. It's like, I, I think it's just tweaking it up. Hopefully that that's the case. Yes, yeah, especially um, you're spending that kind of money. But, but hold on, before we, uh, I kind of want to mention everything that's brand new on that bike. So we got the 12 inch screen, mm -hmm. we got the adjustable bars, we got Brembo brakes in the front, big brakes. We got the lighting in the lighting. front as well. The 121 uh, VVT, inverter front end. Brakes. Brakes, I mentioned already. Um, suspension is different Tail in the back. Lights. Tail lights. C. And yeah, C is C. The chop bags. Chop bags, I um, love, the, love the chop bags. Um, really like the redesigned job. tank as well. Yes. Really redesigned. Yeah. Um, the bags to me stand out the most besides the fairing. Yeah, they're pretty cool. Yeah. Um, so, first of all, tell me or tell us what you think about the bike itself. No, I like them both or whatever. I I would lean generally towards the street glide, but I'm kind of leaning towards the road glide now because I like the way they redesigned it. I love the headlight. Yeah. So I'm like that to me. That that's a great great bike or whatever. You know, and as far as trickling down, I think they should trickle down. Like, obviously, it's not going to be the whole thing. 
Not what you think should. No. What do you think they're going to? I think, first off, all the models should get the new fairing with the new screen. Okay. Well. But. All, all the mod, I, in my opinion, all the models are gonna get the redesigned fairings because that's just that's just gonna be the new look. You think they can put gauges in there though? On some of them? Well, well, let's talk about the screen then. But let let well, just for for sakes, they're they're gonna have the brand new fairings. That's for okay, sure because they're, yeah. they're, they're, they're redesigned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Um, Even all the way down the line, it should be like that. Yeah. So, what do you want to talk about first? The screen. The screen, yeah. Do, do you think they're gonna have the, the screen? That should. Well, if you're gonna put the new fairing on, what what else would you put in there? I don't think they have the gauges designed for that. Because your gauges are is your screen. So, so do you think they're gonna put that same screen? I would hope. Okay, you will hope. Do you think they're gonna do it? If anything, minimum the Ultra and the ST. Okay. Because those are the higher end bikes. Okay. I think that they're probably gonna come out with a, a smaller screen. Inside that fairing. Yeah. If they're if they geared up for that, I think. I mean, I, I hope they don't. I hope it's the same screen, but I think they're gonna keep that screen just for. CBO I mean, you can models. do less options. You could do you know maybe you don't do the sport modes. Yeah. No. I I, I think I, it, it might be just for the CBO. I'm just thinking because the gauge those those are the actual gauges. Yeah. So why wouldn't you just? It would make no sense to redesign other gauges for. Open screen, man. It's big. Oh, it's money. It's money. It's expensive. It's gonna bring up price. I think it's gonna bring up, like you said, the price goes up every year anyway. Yeah. Um, Which is not a bad, like so much, not so much not a bad thing because it's the percentage. It's all these fees. Yeah. That's what kills you. Freight and prep, prep and, and this. It and should be the price of the bike, tax, title. What's that? Uh, what, what were they charging? Uh, uh, the surcharge? The, no. What was this? No. The, the surcharge. The, the material charge? Yes. The surcharge. It? They're still doing it. <laughs> They're still doing that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I, I, they I, haven't stopped. That's I, that's money that's just being thrown out the door. I thought that was a little silly. Freight prep. That it's all like extra because the insurance company's only paying you for the MSRP yeah. and what you paid in taxes on the bike. If you, if God forbid something happens to them, they're not paying you for all that other crap. That's yeah. all money that's going just straight to Harley or to the dealers. To me, that's why it should be the price of the bike. Don't tell me this bike is twenty nine 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 plus tax and prep or whatever and then other stuff and then it's thirty seven thousand dollars out the door tell me it's thirty five thousand dollars plus tax <laughs> just tell me that that's all i want you to tell me don't tell me all this other stuff because the my insurance god forbid i drive out of the dealership I think, I think that should be its own video yeah it should to be, be honest um all right so let's talk about the screen screen things gonna I have it. the screen but the things that have it so let you go down i'm hoping okay you're hoping i don't think it's gonna trickle down I don't think I, the v, I, I don't think I think the VVT is not going to trickle. Well, hold on, let's, yeah. let's, let's, let's work our way from the top to the bottom to mm -hmm. the back. Um, the lights, you think the lights are going to trickle down? Yes, that's like a no-brainer because why would you make other lights? Yeah, because they don't have these anymore. Right. So you're getting rid of your stock of these. Yeah, I mean, you're going to have your whole island there. So okay. it should. Yeah. So the the, the that light minimum should trickle down. Yeah, the, the light for sure. I think it'll trickle down. Yeah. Um, the inverter front end. I think ST models only, besides the CBOs. It's a good take. I was thinking the same thing. Because I'm thinking not on the touring bike and not on the standard. I'm thinking the CBO and the ST models. Yeah. If you want the top but performance. Performance wise, yep. Yes. And then everything else, just regular. I think they might do VVT, but not with a 121. Like do the 117 VVT because it's only a full thumb. I mean, well, the, actually, the heads are different too. It's great. Yeah. That. Uh, I, I, that that's very tricky because you have the CVO with the 121. Not all the rest of the bikes can have the same. Unless they already have a 117 VVT and a 114 VVT. I think the 107 should go bye bye at this point. I think the 107 should go. Yeah. Um, I think the if if they're able, I'm pretty sure they could just put the BVT on the 114, 117, and then put the 114, the standard, leave it without a BVT, just make it a 114. Here, here's a standard with a new dash, new fairing. It's a lot to take in. Like, what exactly could go on what and what can't? Well, it depends on what it costs. But I mean, the biggest cost is probably the freaking screen. Yeah. And the inverted front end. Well, now the engine's got to cost money too. Real quick, let's just go back to well, the inverted front end. ST models and CVOs or all of them? What I would like to see is all of them, but what I think is going to happen is just the STs. Besides the CVOs. CVO already has it. 
That 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 could be a possibility. It, it would be awesome if they all had it because it's, it's an inverted front end. Mm -hmm. I mean, what what do you? With the better brakes too. You're, I mean. you're, you're changing the what the uh, the both triple trees, uh, the top triple tree by and the bottom triple well, tree. We're both on the same and shit. Yeah, so I think it's they, the same frame. Exactly. So I think they should all have it. I I think so too. But I'm saying, minimum, 2024 they should be on the STs. Yeah. Um, How could you have your sport touring your performance bike not have a inverted front end? Yeah, um, brakes. I think brakes are gonna. Well, that'll be with the front end. That'll be with the front end. Yeah. So that that'll that'll triple down. Um, the ST style front fender, I think it's only gonna be for the STs and the CBO, yeah. and yeah. then they're gonna have the regular. Because special has all the stretch shit on it. Yeah. Which I'm not a fan of. But... Hopefully, it doesn't. I think that I think I think, I think the ST should definitely have the chop back. I, I think that they're gonna make their way out with with, with the stretch stuff. Yeah. Hopefully. Yeah, it doesn't Hopefully. really give you anything it. extra. Like, I had them on my road That's line. out. Um, let's talk about the, the engine now. I think minimum they should do the VVT, even if they go 117 VVT and 114 VVT, but I think on the standard they should get rid of the 107. At minimum, even if it's just a straight 114. So if, if it's just as... It, we're going to say if it's easy just to... Put the VVT on the 114 and the 117. Yeah, if they're just slapping heads and, and doing the, the thing on the bottom here. But I don't know what other... Because I, I, I don't know all the mechanics. I, I, I don't see them having the 121 on the CVO and having the 121 the special. Like, no. It just doesn't work that way. No. So... I'd say 117 on the ST. 117 on the one on the ST, yes. And how about the special? Special could be 114. With the VVT? With the VVT. And then, like I said, get rid of the 107 altogether. And throw the old 114s in the standards. Yeah. So at least you're upgrading. You're giving somebody something. Because yeah. the 107, I think, is, is you know, it's, it's not a bad engine, but I think it's it's a good engine. It's but good. I think if you're gonna it's have, very peppy. they have to start pushing these out anyway, the VVTs because of the um, emissions. Not so much here, but I think and or they just might do the 107s, 114, 117, keep everything on and just add a VVT to it, to all of them, and still have the standard, Possibly. still have the special, the ST. Yeah, I mean, you could wet head them all, you it's know? no big deal. Um, the bags. The bags should definitely be on the STs. On the STs? I don't know about the touring model, because you kind of need your bag space. They're, they're, they actually have more space. Oh, even with the child? Oh, yeah, because they're wider. They're wider, they're wider now. All right, they have a smidge more space, yeah, not yeah. so much. I mean, they should be on all of them. If you're changing all the body work, change all the body work. Yeah. But minimum ST. I, I think the chop bags will probably be in the ST and the CVO, and the regular ones will probably be just squared off, like the regular standard. Which would give bags. you more, too, because it'll be wider. It'll be the wider, newer style, but it won't have the chunk taken out the back. Yeah. So you could actually fit like a pump or air pump. Unless they just put the bag on everything. But I don't, I don't see them doing that. No, I think I, I think that's an ST CVO thing. Yeah. Uh, the same thing with the lights in the back. That, those lights are only going to be for CVOs. Only for CVOs. If, if you look at the current CVO, well, not the current one, the older mm -hmm. one at the 2020. They, like yours. Uh, two. Yeah. Yeah. Like yours. That, that light is only offered on the uh, on the CVO. It you can't get the light on anything else. Unless you buy it. Unless you buy it yourself and change it. It should be all of them because then, like you said, you're eliminating these and you're, you're eliminating yeah, but that, all of them. That's what makes the uh, CVO special though. Because the CVO makes it special for certain characteristics. Of yeah, it, well, CVO is fit look. and finish the paint and the bigger engine. Which, lights. which got taken away on the seven, that, yeah. the 170. So the, 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 the lights won't trigger them. You don't think the tail lights will trickle no, down? No, no. They gotta do something though. No, no they'll, they'll, they'll do something else. I hope they don't put the same stupid freaking. They're gonna do like something similar probably to what the ST has now, which is like the low rider ST light kind yeah, of. Yeah, light. yeah, with you the know? little tail. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, they're, they're, they're gonna do that. That would make sense. Um, adjustable, it's gonna be. That should be everybody. That's gonna be on everything. Um, it's pretty cool. I'm a big fan of, of the adjustable handlebars. For those of you guys who kind of don't like, Updating your bikes and modding it out uh, great you option. Bars, no. You don't if they're really comfortable I don't know if it's a 23 degree angle 28 degree angle that you're able to change it um, But it's really cool. It's really awesome And it just it's perfect for everybody because you can adjust it to your liking, which is awesome um, Wheels those wheels are only gonna be on that on the CVO. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, which 
it's fine. They should change. They should just keep the wheel. I mean, I love these wheels. I love these wheels too. I mean, I have these wheels in black, and these, I love them. These I always tell people like these wheels to me were like aftermarket wheels. Yeah, like, I they, love them. They wouldn't. Uh, I'm so happy I changed them. They're awesome. Um, I think that pretty much covers most of it. Yeah. I I really hope. Uh, that everything will trip it down, but you know, it's no. Well, we only got a couple more months, January. Maybe in January, we'll know. I mean, if it's gonna be for 2024. Yes. You know, which I think it is. I mean, it's, uh, I think it's a no brainer. It makes sense. They came out with the models already with the summertime. You gotta now. give somebody something. You know. I mean, especially if they're gonna raise the prices again. Yeah. So. They should get rid of the surcharge. Yeah, they should get rid of a lot of charges. Yeah. Um, what, what do you guys think? What do you guys think will trickle down? Do you think it's gonna be for 2024, or do you think we're wrong? Um, or is it gonna be for later on, maybe 2025? Definitely by 2025. Otherwise, they're not gonna be selling nothing. Yeah. Um, do you guys think these things will be trickling down? Do you not? Do you think it's only just for CVOs, or do you just think that we're completely 100% wrong on everything? I mean, I hope the CVO pain is a lot better next year too. I hope so. I hope they. I hope they have different options. Yes. Um, I can't wait to see the new colors. Um, which we're gonna, we're, we usually every year we kind of do a video. Prediction in we, 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 we do a prediction video of what we think is gonna happen and what, what we, we would like to see and what yeah. we think we're gonna see. So that video should be out in two months in December. We've always been pretty good with that. Uh, yeah, we, we've actually been on point with a lot of stuff. Some yeah, stuff we're wrong about, stuff, yeah. but for the most part, we're always right. Like last year, I could swear on my life they were getting ready to 107 and they didn't. Yeah. That's it, guys. Uh, drop your thoughts and your comments down below, and let me know what you guys think about this. If you want to see more content like this with producer Jerry, drop your <laughs> comments down below. That's gonna be it. Like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby.